parents and students on edge tonight in Richland County for the second time in two weeks, a bomb threat at Madison local schools. Only this time, the entire district, more than 3,000 kids were affected. NBC4's new reporter Renee LaSalle is live at Madison Comprehensive High School with the details for us. Hi, Renee, and welcome. Hi, Ellie. Th so thrilled to be here. Now, Madison Comprehensive, pretty quiet tonight. If you look back toward the football field, there is no practice tonight. All after-school activities have been canceled thanks to that district-wide bomb threat earlier today. Now, you add that to last Wednesday's bomb threat against the high school, and parents say enough is enough. I panicked at first. Yeah, freaked out. <laughs> yeah. Thankful parents were uniting with their kids at the Richland County Fairgrounds. For the second time in two weeks, a bomb threat at the Madison Local School District, but this one, district-wide. We will take all uh, the precautions and do a thorough investigation for any type of a threat that's made. Major Joe Massey says a bomb threat to the Madison community came in shortly after 8, then a second call directed that threat at the schools. The district brought in a dozen extra buses from neighboring schools and public transportation, rushing students to the fairgrounds where parents picked them up. We went as smooth as possible, I would say. Superintendent Lee Capel says it's too soon to tell if this week's bomb threat is connected to the one last week at Madison Comprehensive High. Meanwhile, parents say it's got to stop. I just hope whoever's doing the threats, instead of getting a slap on the wrist, they really get, you know, something done. Now, a 16-year-old girl was arrested in connection to last week's bomb threat. Madison Comprehensive was cleared about an hour ago. It was the last campus in the district to be searched. Classes should resume tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Richmond County, Renee LaSalle, NBC4.